Hi, everyone. Someone whose opinion I value very highly um, tried to bring some peace into the discussion of Roe v. Wade and the overturn thereof. Now, I want to say right up front, this is somebody I respect very highly and somebody I will continue to follow on social media and listen to and whose advice I will continue to take because that it, it's a highly intelligent, highly educated uh, person who speaks good sense. But in this particular uh, case, I had to disagree with him because he referred to the discussion, the debate about Roe v. Wade, a moral issue. I disagree. It is a healthcare issue and a legal issue. And let me explain why, why I think that. Deciding to cheat on a test where pass or fail might determine the course of your entire career or your entire education, that's a moral issue. Being friends with a couple, realizing one of the couple is cheating on the other and struggling with what to do about it, that's a moral issue. It affects you and possibly people within your immediate vicinity. It does not impact an entire population. Okay? So that's a moral issue. Here we have a situation where an entire half of our country, or even more, I think, is told that they can be denied medical services solely based on a characteristic over which they have no control. We have no control over being having been born women. And we're now being told that because we have a uterus, this thing, we cannot control having a uterus. We, we didn't choose this. We can be denied medical care. So some people say, well, abortion kills lives. Okay. Okay. Uh, masturbation ruins lives by your own definition. So if life begins with a cell, all the sperm are potential babies. So men masturbate, that sperm gets wasted. So what medical services will they be denied based on that? Well, if women don't want to have babies, they shouldn't have sex. First of all, if you're a man and you said that, remember that the next time a woman refuses to have sex with you. Second, well, men have sex too. So what medical services will they be denied because they want to have sex? Make no mistake, this is a legal and healthcare crisis of huge proportions. And that is how I want it approached. Thank you for watching.